Hello guys, I am here to teach you Star Pro. Today we will be discussing the basics parts 1 of Star Pro tutorials. In this part, we will be learning about a beam applied under a load. So, initially select Star Pro and new project. Since we will be dealing with beams in 2D do select plane give the structure name and select the required units meter and kilonewton select next then press add beam select finish you will come up with a grid which is isometric in view you can use the any view here select front view as you can see these are 10 coordinates each of 1 meter span the spacing can be changed in snap node beam dialog box on the right side of your screen as you can see the spacing you can be give us 2 and press ok similar way you can increase the number of coordinates So we will be discussing in this class about a beam so fix, fix, with, with fixed supports subjected to a uniformly distributed load and nodal loads in the sense point load. So let us take a beam of 10 meter span. So select point 0 to 10 meter span. Now you need to press escape so this is our beam you can switch off the grid here by selecting the grid option now you can see our beam so first we will be selecting the general tab on the left side of the screen in general tab you need to select the property tab in property tab you need to define the property for the beam which is rectangle and give the possible size to it it might be 0.45 by 0.3 in the material is concrete steel whatever required add close select the property select uh, select the beam assign to selected beams assign yes in this way the size gets assigned in order to see the size is assigned or not do select right click and press 3d rendering so you can see the size is being assigned now you need to assign loads before that we would assign supports so select the support tab and press the create icon let the supports be fixed add select the fixed supports and select the node cursor and do press control and do con do select the nodes assign to selected nodes assign in this way the supports get assigned to the particular beam now we need to assign loads to the beam so select loads and definition tab in it select load case details add let the title be load case 1 add close under primary loads load case 1 select load case 1 add now we need to give nodal load in a fi direction which is minus 50 kilo newtons add and uniformly distributed load in the sense member load select uniform force which is 2 minus 45 kilonewtons per meter add plus you need to assign these loads to the beam so select the nodal load and do select the node cursor and select the particular nodes assign to selected nodes assign yes in this way the loads get assigned now select the uniformly distributed load and using beam cursor 
select beam assign to selected beams assign yes in this way the loads get assigned but this scale runs up to infinity so in order to scale it the loads select this icon loads icon on the below the menu bar in this way the loads get scaled now you need to analyze this beam subjected to uniformly distributed load and nodal loads so select analysis and print tab next to general tab press add close now you need to select analyze in the menu bar and run analysis save in this way the analysis keeps going on and finally we come up with output file or you can go to post processing mode or you can stay in modeling mode now we go to post processing mode in this you select ok maximize the screen so we can see the deflection by selecting the deflection icon here right here and and pressing control and rolling the cursor frontward in the front direction if you roll it in the backward direction it goes upside so the deflection can be observed switch off the deflection icon do select bending moment in the direction it can be observed like this also shear force also observed in this way so in this way we can see that required deflection bending moment and shear force for a beam subjected to different loads this is the end of tu bit tutorial basic parts 1 thank you